This is the oldest company in history. The first food production business in the world. It produces over 80% of the food on the planet and employs 2 billion and 600 million people, that is 40% of the working population. This company is called Family Farming. Yes, it's great, but it's a lot of work. Mm, sorry? Yes, hello, it's me, Ebony. Let me show you how we live. Over here, there's a plot of cotton that we will sell, and a plot of corn for us. Over there, my wife grows vegetables, and my children look after the animals. But I can tell you that we sometimes have trouble making ends meet. Why is that, Ebony? What kinds of problems do you come across? Well, to cut a long story short, we have no access to drinking water, no sanitation or electricity, and very little access to education. Our crops suffer from droughts and floods. It takes us several days to reach the town where we sell our products. And when we get there, the prices for what we have to sell drop, and the prices for the things we need to buy go sky high. And to top it all, big agribusinesses are buying the land that we work on. I don't know if I'll still be able to farm my plots tomorrow. That's a lot to cope with. In these conditions, it's difficult to borrow money to invest. You're right, Abony. Family farms need to be defended and supported. Let's start with basic facts. Banks aren't interested in financing small farms, but without finance, the farmers can't invest. However, banks are more willing to support small farms if the farmers gather into groups. A farmer's cooperative carries more weight when dealing with the banks and big business, and the farmers can then sell their produce for a higher price in the market or even internationally. When farmers form cooperatives, they also gain access to credit, agricultural insurance and saving schemes. The cooperative also enables them to make economies of scale when buying seed and equipment. So farmers' cooperatives are good for farmers, good for banks and good for business. Politicians also have a role to play. They must encourage access to health care, protect land security, control price volatility, support local businesses, promote the training of young people, promote agricultural ecology, which will increase yields and income, and develop road transport infrastructure. This type of action can really change the daily life and development prospects for family farmers. We totally agree. OK, back to work. The French Development Agency is working on the ground every day to make family farming more productive, promote employment and safeguard the environment. 